Hi everyone, it's Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Today we're going to be looking at the incorrect use of the t-test, t-statistic, in multiple regression. I'm going to demonstrate this through an example, education data, so my dependent variable, will be earnings, which is a scale variable, it's continuous, so that means I can apply standard regression model and we're going to regress that the earnings on years of experience of the, each person number of years of schooling the number of siblings of, that, of the person has in their family and the weight of the person now what we're going to do is fit the multiple regression regressing earnings on these four things. Uh, so here, uh, obviously, we, we can imagine that weight has no impact on earnings, but I put it in here because I want to show you, demonstrate to you this incorrect use of the T statistic. All right, so analyze regression linear. Then we move into the dependent variable box earnings and then we move uh, this lot into the independence group. Uh, I'm going to select it as a block so it's much quicker to move over rather than one by one. I do that by pressing the top one then putting my finger on the uh, the uh, up arrow and then press weight. Okay and then transfer it over and then we'll go OK. Right, the uh, the uh, standard three tables come up, three four tables. Sorry, um, and we're looking at the coefficients box here. Okay, here are the t stats for each of the coefficients. That's the intercept, and these are the four independent variables. So what we've got here is multiple regression. Now experience is that significant for the t-test yes because the p-value is given by this column of stuff p-value is 0.017 so it's less than 0 0.05 so we reject the null that is insignificant conclude it is significant from zero school yes significant siblings 0.5 that's bigger than 0 0.05 so it is insignificant. Weight bigger than it's 0 0.212, bigger than 0 0.5, so it is insignificant. Now, at this step, you might think what I see students doing is they'll say, aha, insignificant, insignificant from zero, that means we can drop them. So, what they will do then is drop both of them in one go so rerun the regression of earnings on experience experience schooling and that's it now that is wrong because because if you drop these two according look by by the t you're actually treating it as if you are doing an f test for the joint significance of a subset of iv of ivs with the t you can only drop things one at a time. Okay, that's the correct use of the T. I don't explain why in this video, just know as a rule. So we drop the least significant one. So 0 0.52 is bigger than 0 0.21. They're both insignificant, but this one is less significant than this one here. So we would drop siblings only. So we would refit it, but dropping siblings. So analyze regression, linear, and we drop siblings, so we take that back to the other side and we go OK. Look at the new coefficients box, Sib siblings has been dropped, check the significance, all still significant apart from weight, 0.24, so now we would drop weight, so regression, linear, Okay, 
and now everything is significant. Um, so that that uh, brings us to the end of this video. Just know that with T, if you're using the T test, you drop things one at a time. Drop the, and if more than one IV, one of these slope coefficients is insignificant, you drop the least significant, I had the one with the highest p-value, drop that and then refit. Okay, hope that's helped.